with the W. And you are you can do single things to also say that I'm only on EDM mostly, but uh, I've been on W also. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean India. <laughs> yes, also it's all Indian based company. Come on, IT people. Yeah. India, Indian based. <laughs> seeing action filters today okay so I will develop some two to three charts in the fly we'll see Charts, so there is no great logic to it or anything like that. Okay, I'm just uh, creating some basic charts so that we can see the action filters. And Sound is breaking on my side, Ram. Is it? Hello? Anyone? I'm not talking actually, Sam. Just give me a minute. Oh, I'll okay. develop these charts and then we'll go to dashboard and we'll create. I'm not talking oh, okay. actually. Yes, guys. Today I am. I'll be going to teach you action filters, and of course, in next class dashboard. So we can see that simultaneously. You want to see the dashboard basics, how to keep the charts here and such things first, or you want to see action filters first. We can do either thing because both are go hand in hand. So whatever you want. So, huh? Yes, today. Okay, you are expert in this. Go ahead. Which one to see first? Okay. So yeah, that's yeah, good. So, oh. what do you say? Action filter is that the filter that you uh, like? A one object is filter for the other different objects on dashboard. Or yes. The yes. Attribute from one yes, object. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, first, we'll see some basics in dashboard before going further because that is very important. Okay. So, <clears throat> so whenever I mean whatever charts you select, if it is in the same session, those charts will be displayed here, and you can pull them into dashboard here. Okay. And uh, please, I mean, uh, whenever you develop dashboard, keep your client in your mind. 
and uh, make sure that you don't do any complex things here. I mean, doing complex things is always a challenge for us, and developers feel very happy. Doing that uh, very complex things uh, give us a lot of satisfaction because we have put in a lot of effort and we have showed our skills there. But that's not the purpose of dashboard. Dashboard is, I mean, for, for example, you take a PPT, the less number of sentences or words, the more number of pictures will give you a good PPT there. So similarly, in dashboard also, in Tableau also, more number of charts with colors, proper colors, don't use too many, too much colors. So with the proper colors, it will give a nice dashboard, like a presentation one. If you try to keep too many objects here, or if you try to pull in a lot of, uh, too many colors which are not relevant, for example, red will show something which is going down, and green will show which is something going up. So if you use too many colors, people will not understand which color. I mean, of course, legend, filter, everything will be displayed here. But still, you know, right? People will love to watch movies rather than if you see titles, no, people will not be interested in movies, right? So however good might be the movie. So in such, remember such scenarios. So as soon as they see, they want to catch it and they want to take decisions from it. So please don't try to do complex things like uh, box plots or such things because you will be forced to explain them. So if they don't understand, they will ask you to remove the chat. Okay. So I'll be adding some quick filters here before going further. And uh, yes, I'll use all to avoid any. I'll use region. So I'm just adding the filters. So, that, uh, so context filter, when you add context filter, you have to say all values in context. And uh, here I can add uh, one more filter here. Please remember here, I have not added to quick filter section subcategory. And uh, here, I added region and state as context filters, and they are in quick filter section. Okay? And coming here, I am clicking on first sheet as usual. Okay? So, first sheet, whatever sheets I click first time, it will be tiled by default. You see here, it's tiled. Tiled is highlighted here. Okay? So, whatever I do first time, it will be horizontal and tiled by default it will be tiled. Tiled in the sense it will be fixed. You can't change its size. Okay, you can't change its size. For example, if you click on floating here, now floating is highlighted. If I click on second chart, you see that it's not fixed here. Though empty space is there, it's not fixed. You can move it around. Okay, like this. like this. You can keep anywhere in the dashboard. But as when you when you click on tile, by default tile will be active. See that? You we'll try to arrange like this. Okay. So whenever you double click on sheet, whenever you first time adding sheets in tile format in dashboard, they will go into horizontal space. That means it will try to divide this whole box into and that you can see here. This is layout. Okay. Dashboard layout. You're seeing here, sheet one is this one, sheet two is this one, both are tiled. Nothing is floating. Okay. And here it will not show floating, but it will show whether it's horizontal or vertical. So by default, these sheets will go into horizontal. I mean it will divide the horizontal space. And you need not understand whether it's horizontal, vertical, all this is not needed, but just for your understanding, I'm just saying you can observe it here. You're seeing this, right? So that's how it will be layout. So I'm clicking last one, sheet three here. That's about it. So in uh, scatter plot, we have legends. So legends are shown up there. Or if you want to add, whatever you add, okay, 
whatever you had here, you're seeing it here, right? Line chart is here, scatter plot is this one, and this is basic bar chart, nothing is there. So here you see when I add, sorry, when I do any forecasting, and since we have dates here, the forecasting there. Uh, it's in months, that's why we are doing, seeing too much of forecasting here, almost a year, that's it, nothing else much. So just 12 months of uh, forecasting. So show trend lines, I'm just showing trend lines. Uh, since it's in months, it's too many trend lines here. You can edit them, that's not a problem, we'll do it later. So you see that, without doing anything, the changes are here directly. Okay, so those changes, as long as you are in the same session, it will immediately show the changes. Okay. So now, our titles are not great, so we can change the titles or uh, we can hide the title. So whatever uh, we want, basic bar chart or uh, subcategory level sales. Such things. Or if you want to hide it, you can hide it, that's not a problem again. So if you just remove the title, that's it, gone. It's complete chart only. Otherwise you can right click it, right click on it again and say show title. Okay, otherwise you can click on the chart, since it's already clicked, you can go to dashboard and say show title. Okay, for that particular one. Otherwise, since this chart is selected now, you can see here also, here also show title is there. If you click on show title, you can see the title there. Okay. So that's how it is. After, even after placing, even after placing the charts in dashboard, okay. So even after placing the charts in dashboard, you can make them floating. For example, this chart is selected here. I'm clicking on floating here. See that? So even now, you can change its size and shape. Okay. Like this. Okay. So the most important thing is, please remember, only in floating you can reduce its size or you can change its size, in fact. So only in floating. In tile you can't do anything. So I'm just removing it. It got fixed there. Okay. And most important is, so initially I showed you this one, right? Tile, sheet 1 and sheet 2 was, sheet 3 was, the sheet 2 was there. Now you see that it's horizontal. Okay. These two are horizontal, it's dividing the horizontal space here, okay? Now if you come slowly down, sheet 1, sheet 3, sheet 2, okay? It's tiled, okay? What is vertical is, by default, all those legends, filters, all those things will go as vertical. That means like this, okay? None of the sheets is in vertical. So by default, this is all default section. If you want to float it, if you want to change it, you can do a lot of things, okay? So now you see that subcategory and category are color legend is one and shape legend is one. So these legends, not only legends, filters also, okay? We added filters to this one. See that? When you want to add filters, no, we didn't add filters. I'm creating one more dashboard here. Keep another chart. Okay, so we added filters here. So by default, we added filters to quick filter section. That's why you're seeing filters here. Okay, whereas we didn't add this to quick filter section. That's why you're not seeing the filter here. Got it? Okay, so and one more thing here. So if you want to add the filter now, okay, you can go to, we go here, select the particular sheet, right click and say quick filters. It's not a use as filter, it's quick filters here. Okay, so you go here and you say subcategory. Same subcategory is a filter, you can see it here. Okay, you can change its options also, it's not a problem. The way which we did in quick filter section there in the worksheet, the same thing you can see here also. Multiple values drop down. You can like that. Now, you see this is drop down is there this one. Sorry, this one you need to drag it down. So instead of this, you can say fit height or fit width. 
now the scrolling is gone okay so many of the options which are available in worksheet is available here not only many not much okay not all the options which are available in worksheet will not be available here only some options will be available okay you see that quick filters is available okay for this chart you have used only two things one is subcategory and one of one is sum of sales okay and for this chart a scatter plot for scatter plot we have we didn't add anything to the filter section we didn't add anything to filter section but still we have used some columns right we used some dimensions and measures to create the chart and those are displayed here see that category ship mode subcategory and all those things are there if you want any add any filter you can do that that's not a problem again so so in any case if you have used the columns in your charts okay those columns you can add quick filters in dashboard even if you don't add them to quick filter section in worksheet okay okay now you see that filters and legends has gone into okay by default okay and the remaining sheets has gone into general here okay from <coughs> So yes. If we yes, add a quick filter at the dashboard level, not at the sheet level, okay. and if we go back to sheet okay. again, the filter will appear there. No, it will not. Since okay, see here, ship mode I have added from scatter plot, right? Uh -huh. So here you see that yes. filter is here, but quick filter is not there. Okay. Filter it added to filter quick filter section. Okay. Hmm. But it it's not showing in quick filter, right? Correct. So that's how it is. No, if you want to add, you can add here. Okay, if you want to add, you have to add it here. Okay. Like this. Okay. 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 See, it's vice versa actually. So first you add it to sheet in quick filter section. By default, you will see it in the dashboard like this. Right. Initially, we added in the map. Right. In the map, we have added this to quick filter section, both region and state. Right. By default, when I selected this chart, by default, see you see this. I cleared it. Since these filters are already added there, that's why they are showing here. Oh. Okay. 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 So, if it is not added, we can go to sheet or we can go to dashboard here and select sheet. And right click on it, the exact sheet. You'll see the quick filters here. All the dimensions and measures which you have used in the chart will show up here, and you can use it. Okay. As quick filters here. Okay. okay. If, if you add a quick filter here, it will show in the filter section, but it will not show in the quick filter section. In the worksheet. Gotcha. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So if it is there in the worksheet, if it is there in the worksheet, whatever is there in the worksheet, by default it will show in the dashboard. Okay. So in dashboard you can add to quick filter section. Okay. And legends and all those things will come by default. Okay. For example, if you feel that you have too much space like this, okay. If you feel that you have too much space like this. In such scenarios, you can see floating. You see here. Even if it is one sheet, also sheet is horizontal, and remaining filters are in vertical. Okay, and we have added some uh, coloring also. Legend is here. Okay, so in such scenarios, you can click on them and see floating. You can place it here somewhere. See that? So such things you can do so that you can save the space here exactly like this. So so that your space will not get wasted. And especially with maps, because maps 
it will just show colors in the region which you are selecting for which data is there. All the other regions will be like this. This is Canada, right? So this is Canada and this is empty. If you go down a bit, again this is Mexico and everything will be empty again. So in such spaces you need not go to them west. So you can use it like this. Okay. You click on floating and you can move it anywhere in your chart. So that is one good thing to do always so that user can understand it easily at the same time you will be keeping lot of things in chat but you will not feel congested okay okay like that okay if you want to keep state also state also we can keep state is too lengthy i think i don't know whether we can keep it or not maybe we can try it our center So I don't think it will go horizontally, but uh, we just try. Now what it, you can do is go here and we'll have various options and floating order. This one we don't have much options here. So when we write to only text I think we'll have better options. So that's how it is. So we can't put it in horizontal. Otherwise, if you can, if you're comfortable using this, you can go ahead and just say, as the user to do this, right? And we have used this profit also as size legend, so you can keep it somewhere here. So that's how it is. Otherwise, we can keep the state here only. Uh, Tom? Yes. Yes, Sam. Quick question. Uh, I was yes. struggling with, like, in my case, in a dashboard when I was presenting, I like, I have a four different subject area which is pretty much related okay. to same data, right? Based on response, yeah. people have different scores or, or they have a different risk factor and all that different criteria. But then again, those are okay. coming from all different facts. And uh, okay. only one filter is applied as a global filter, like date. So date range I can okay. use uh, as for all four different areas as a global filter, but all other, like okay. how many risk, uh, what is the score kind of uh, those those uh, filter has to be on a, each of those sections, and I was, I was struggling to position those global versus those those filters. How would you like in this uh, dashboard one that you have it? Can you show the positioning of global and those those uh, specific uh, specific uh, filter? Okay, Sam, uh, you mentioned too many things. I didn't get it actually. Can you repeat? Okay, let me let me repeat that. Okay, like in a global filter for all all four. In let's say I'm putting four different seats to my dashboard, right? Uh, one global filter applied to all four sections of it, which is time itself, right? And then each of those okay. four sections has a different uh, subject area, uh, so it, okay. it has a different it it, it has to have its reason whatever a, a section filter to it. Uh, so how okay. would you position those in, in that first uh, dashboard is most appropriate to? Okay, so you are seeing that, you are asking about positioning of those sheets, right? Sam? I'm asking about positioning of the filter itself. The filter, okay. first the global filter, let's, let's see, a global filter is applied to all four sections or, or the whole dashboard itself. What would you position yes. that so that it seems like it is applied to all four of those sections, first thing, right? Same In this case, you just have one. Of, yeah, yeah, understand if, that. If you would go you to see the that? dashboard number one. Yeah. yeah so, it has Sam, if there is place, right? yeah, yeah. You try to keep it outside of three sheets so that uh, it will clearly show. 
I mean, if other filters or small filters or like this multi-select or such things, you can keep them in respective sheets, yeah. okay? And the global filter outside of the chart, so outside of three charts, so that it will show that it will apply to all three worksheets. But uh, there is no uh, such thing as specific or uh, because global filter, uh, unless until you specify, I mean, people will not understand it. So rather than that, why don't you use action filter? Okay. They will, it will be easily understandable, right? right? Because when we see action filter, action filter, you click on something here, yeah. and by default these two sheets will be filtered, or this all this sheet also will be filtered, right? So then they will yes, understand that. that. Okay, yeah. you can use the global filter. Try to okay. keep the global filter out of three charts, and keep the remaining filters in the respective charts. If you have space, if space is not there, then that will be a problem again. So it will not show clear cut difference. Okay. 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 Yeah. That's okay. All, all right. Thank you. So, so that's how it is, and this is nine version actually, which I am showing to you. In earlier versions, uh, people say like uh, for horizontal it was uh, some um, what is a purple color or something, and overall uh, dashboard will be in some color. I mean some small line. You see that color? Not this. So you're seeing that color, right? Some dark, uh, what do you say, dark blue something. So some color is displaying. So some colors were there before, but with the nine, there is no specific color like that. Okay, like that. So there is no specific colors, nothing to do with colors. Previously in eight, I don't know, even I have not seen it, but people say that there were some different colors for each and every horizontal section and vertical section. But uh, with the nine, I am not seeing anything, and that's no, that's of no importance at all. Because you can place these charts wherever you want. Okay. And moreover, please remember, it's not only this. If you want to place your chart anywhere specifically, you can drop it. Okay. Okay, you can just drop it at the exact place so that you'll see this. Okay. Now if you want to pull in another chart, you can drop it anywhere like this. Okay, like this. Okay, you can place it vertically also. That's not a problem. In such scenarios, you come here. You see that horizontal tiled and sheet one, sheet two, sheet four. Remaining one. Here. Okay. So always filters, legends, all these will go into vertical only, mostly, unless until you say you click on floating and you add it. Okay. And another important thing is here, you have some objects here, okay, where you, whether you want to place horizontal or vertical, you can click on them and click on worksheet so that it will decide how you want the next worksheet to go in. For example, you click that, it goes into vertical space. And these are not of great importance, but you can just drag and drop and you say floating and you can keep it in any particular location, that's not a problem. And very important thing is image, okay, image is very important, web page, if you want to connect to any web page outside of Tableau like Google, uh, Google images or your company website, such things, you can say web page and you can add it here and it will ask you for some link. Not only this, you, you can use action filters also for that, okay. If you want any empty space, blank space, you want to fill it anywhere like this, it's just an empty space, you can't do anything with that space. Really. So even if you pull sheet 3, sheet 4, that empty space will not go. If you want to put it empty space, you can use this blank. Otherwise your chart will, dashboard will show wrong information. People will think that there should be something there and it's missing. Okay. Unless or until it is needed, don't do that. Okay. And image, you click on any, Im if, the, if you have image in your desktop or laptop, you can go ahead and use it. I don't think I have any images here, but it's not showing. Okay. Can we use any text on uh, MP3? Oh, okay. Come again, Siddhi. Can we use any Can we text? Use? text? Like anything? Text. Ah, that is there. That is there. I will show you. First, I will show you. Try to show you images. Okay. There should be some images. If I have images, I will put them. Okay. One minute. Just give me two minutes and just search on it. Images. 
I don't know guys, <laughs> I forgot where I kept them, okay, but you can add any image in fact, so I have to search I think, sorry, so I think we can add any image, it can be your photos also, that's not a problem, so it should be in, uh, unless, it will not allow only certain formats, otherwise it will allow anything, okay, so all these formats will be allowed, you can place any image anywhere here, okay. So, you Stuti ask text, right? So this is text. So you can write any text here, okay? And you can place it. This is just separate section here. Okay. So you can click on floating, and you can reduce its size. And remember, you can't add action filters to text, okay? So even if you add action filters to text, it will try to take some sheet from here. Okay, so that's how it is. Okay, so that's about it mostly. So that text we added is shown here. If you want to add proper text, you can add it. It's not a problem. W dash boots. So, anything else? Any more doubts? You want to see anything? Any specific thing before we go more to action filters? Uh, in this line chart today, there are too many lines. Like, um, yes, trend lines. Trend lines. Yes. Trend lines. So, yeah, trend lines. Yeah. The the middle. You want to remove them? And where the 20k, 0 k, 40k, right? I'm not understanding uh, 120k and 2000k. There is one more trend line. Those yeah, are yeah. So, so the, yeah, trend lines are, for example, you take this uh, linear trend line here. Okay, trend line is like you are. Uh, I mean, uh, what do you say? How your sales is performing from last three years? How is uh, your profit increasing or decreasing? Such things. So what trend line does is most most at a high level I'm speaking. I'm not speaking about the exact calculation which is used here. So at a high level I'm speaking. For example, you see, take this point, take this point. So from 2011, uh, 2011 January to 2011 February, it went down actually. So from this point to this point, it should be down. Okay. From this point again, February to March again, it went up drastically, and again down. So it will consider all these points individually and it will try to calculate what is a trend. That means for a considerable for a time period of six months or one year, it's going up or going down. So what trend line does is it will consider all these data points, okay, all these data points and it will say how we are performing from last three years or four years. From we are considering almost 2011 to 2015 here. So 2011 to 2015, it's almost linear. It's, there is no much growth or there is no much loss. You see that? It's all linear because you see the data points. It's going up and it's coming down. It's going up and it's coming down. So no specific growth actually. So there was no growth for a long time. And there's, at the same time, there was no loss also for a long time. So that's why this trend line is linear. Uh, if it is only loss or such things, line will go down. Yes. Yes, I have a quick yes, question sir. on this trend uh, trend line. Uh, I've yeah. seen that example. I mentioned that earlier too. Uh, there is a if you uh, bring a time factor and that it was doing some sort of a uh, like a dynamic trend path for day to day, and it would show you a path there, like a weather pattern of some sort. Can is that yes. take a long time to build? Uh, in this case, no, it seems like it is it. taking oh. a path, right? A trend of some sort over the time. Yes. Can we introduce a yes. time filter there and kind of have this go take that trend, dynamic trend in our dashboard mm. with this data here? I you are don't showing? think we can do that. I don't think we can do that because trend lines having trend lines is itself is a very complex concept. So if you want to edit trend lines, you can go here, 
and uh, the minimum editable I mean we have it only this much you can't edit it much it's only linear logarithmic exponential per only four types of trend lines are available and all those four are shown here and uh, forecast indicator is there and uh, there are no much options to just change the trend lines or edit the trend lines and you can't select any time period unless yeah. until you select the time period in filter section it will apply to your chart at yeah. the same time it will apply to your trend line also but you can't specify the time period which you are doing. okay it seems so like even if you click it yeah, sorry. So even if you click here, you're just seeing it. That's it. How trend line is calculated? That's what you're seeing. But you can't select any particular yeah. time period. Okay. If you select the yeah. filter, yeah. that filter will apply to your chart along with your trend line. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I, so see, I see. What you're saying. Yeah. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. What I was thinking was in, instead of using this object, that trend line you are using, if there is a way that mm. if you click on that. Um, Filter uh, the time filter itself. It would uh, and it scroll itself from from day to day or month to month, and it, the data point kind of move along dynamically so that it creates some sort of a path or trend. Uh, but uh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, it's not dynamic actually. <laughs> so it's a W created one. And please remember, not only this, even in future, if someone asks you for some customization or something. Tableau is just a drag and drop tool. That means everything is predefined in the VSQL server. So there is no coding. Coding means twist it a bit anytime. But since there is no coding, you can't yeah, twist the Tableau. So sure. please note that. Because many people have, have been asking that can we do this in W? Can we do that in W? Unless and until it's already predefined, you can't see it. You can't do it. Okay? In Tableau. Because it's a drag and drop tool. Okay? And it never allows us to code. Okay, so never customizations are not allowed to a great extent in W. Okay, and uh, from that, see, uh, Stuti, like, uh, see that. Since here, uh, most of those sales is going down here, so the trend line is pointing down here. Okay, so like this, so based on your performance, I mean, sales performance or profit performance, trend line will go. Okay, this is just linear, you see that? So it's going down, it's linear and it's going down. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, if it is, this so specific example, yes. right? If you would go back to that graph. Okay. Yes. Uh, there is a data point for each of these different years, right? If we can yeah, kind yeah, of do a uh, filter uh, in a time and uh, okay. have it move, uh, move from uh, time to time, it should kind of show that path of just pointing that each and, uh, and show the path, right? Can we do that? That, that yeah, was my yeah. question. Yeah, we can do that. You are asking, you want to uh, filter on years or quarters? We'll see in years only. Yeah, years we'll would be one. good because in this case it would be easier to see that. Okay, I'll add it to the filter section. I'm doing that. Since 2011 is one of create value. Because you want to see this. Yeah. This is the one or yeah. you want to yeah. see anything else? Uh, yeah. If you change this, oh, yeah, yeah, I see. I, I, I see. If you change this slider one, and uh, the okay. filter itself. Okay. And somehow. And then slide it from from slide it there, and it's a. Uh, yeah. Okay. I see. Wait. Multiple values custom list should be there. Single value slider. Single value list. Slider. Single value slider is mostly single value. So that why the switch not working. Okay, okay, okay. Otherwise, it would have been good. All right, okay, thank you. Yes. I think this is better. You can observe, you can see it neatly, clearly. So, clearly, you see this here, trend line. It's almost uh, in map, I mean, in sync with your path, actually, line chart. Now it's same. You go from 2014 2015. Same trend line is just same as your chart. Okay. So for such things, okay, I think guys, I forgot to tell you this. We can add it to pages. Okay. We can add it to pages. What pages does is 
it will try to analyze your so it will automatically try to move okay whatever you do if you just play it it will take you through each line and of course you have plenty of options here you should oh yeah this is the one i was talking yeah this is great yeah 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 I was trying to create okay. this and not able to do that. Okay, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I should have told you before, so I forgot it. Wait. So we have to select a lot of options. Click on show history. So show history controls, not not controls. Click on, uh, okay, this would be good. Playing it again. Still, it's not the mapping the history. Something is wrong. and select those options and see if you can see the history also. So whenever it is moving, generally you can see the path actually. Here the path is not showing as of now. I don't know why. Select history also. Wants to show history for select it all. Actually, you should be seeing a line here. It's just moving the path here. So apart from that, it's not doing anything else. I don't know why. Maybe we have used trend line. That's why it's doing that, I think. So maybe if we remove the trend line, it should be. So of no great use. Maybe we'll see it here only months. Sorry. Even here it's not working. Okay, the trend lines is not good. It's no big deal. It's not a good thing to. Yes, Stuti. I'm not getting what are you trying to do. Uh, Stuti, what I am trying to do is, for example, uh, if you remove this, for example, if you remove this in pages. Pages is something, if you have too much amount of data, okay, for example, you have data like this, right, it's too much amount of data and it's only for one year. So if it is say all, it's all here, okay. So when you want to scroll, okay, when you want to scroll, one minute I will make it like this. Now you see it's too much data, right, in yes. such scenarios, Okay, when you want to go point by point or when you want to see how your uh, I mean line chart is performing, in such scenarios, you can add it to pages actually. Okay, pages is like your book. Okay, this point, when you say play here, okay, these are play options here. So when you say play here, okay, so that point will be moving slowly and if you say generally history, it should show all actually. Marks to show history for his highlighter. I selected all, but still it's not working properly here. Now you see that one history point is here. So it moves like that. 
it will go through every day like your book okay the the i mean uh, like just uh, how you scroll your pages so it will go on moving like that okay now it's slowly moving you see the date there it's slowly yes. changing yes. are you seeing it's 16 no. 17 14 you are seeing the dots here yes. slowly what happens you see the path there the line chart which we have which we saw it right before adding to pages you'll see that line chart here yes but it will take time since it's in days so it will take time otherwise it would have been a bit fast but uh, I'll, I'll try to sh show you in months or weeks okay now we go you see that yeah so slowly it will happen all that way okay I get it now. okay okay so that is about pages I mean in the the way you do in book you can just scroll them okay just go through your book so each and every page. How this with the uh, thread marks? Huh? How this is useful what? with the thread marks? I mean, uh, trend lines, it's not much useful. If you use trend lines, it will be more, uh, uh, when, uh, what do you say, congested and it's, it will not be proper. So earlier, that's what the, that, that was the problem which we were facing. So that's why I removed trend lines. So if you say trend lines here, see that? It will yes. try to show you for each and every point. So for each point, it keeps changing, keeps changing, keeps changing trend line. So it will, it might get confused. It's too much of data along with trend line is, to, and it will throw you some confusion. Still, it's trying to draw. Why it stop playing? Okay. Now you see a bit speed here. Okay. See that trend line. It's just like your movie, it's, it automatically keeps on changing and it's going on, right? It's just like a video, so when you want to analyze your trend from last two years or three years, how it is performing and such things, you can see that. You're seeing it? Yes, yes. So that's like a video, I mean, like kind of fun. So if you want to keep it more fast, this is our speed here. Okay. okay. So this is very slow and this is medium and this is fast. Okay. So this is about pages. I mean, you can just see the data there. But what um, the major purpose of pages here is? For example, if your chart is not fitting here, okay, and if you have too much amount of data, if it is 10 years or 12 years like that, if it is not fitting here, okay, in such scenarios, you can go to pages so that for each view you can see some set of data. Okay. So that is the purpose of uh, actually, so it didn't stop again, it's running. So you can, it will go on like that forever. So, so the purpose of pages is if you have too much amount of data or like 10 years of data or 12 years of data, which you want to see in a single chat in such scenarios. Okay. So this is sheet five. Even if you add it to dashboard, if you see that the same pages and everything is here. So it goes on running. If you say play, Huh? Keep on moving over yes, the dashboard also. I didn't. I didn't understand. It will keep on moving over the dashboard also. Yes, it's moving right right now. Yes, yes, yes. Like that. So if you have too much amount of data for ten years or twelve years, if you can't see it in a single uh, view, so your views will be changing every time here. Okay. Generally, here pages will be displaying and your views keep on changing okay? okay that's the purpose of so tomorrow we will see action filters and uh, any doubts today so far it's okay but we need to practice uh, for this yeah 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 and uh, you asked for a project right i will try to give a project okay try to give us something where where we can just work on it and you can take a look and let us know how it's, is it good, bad, okay. like kind okay, of. Okay, I understand. Understand, got it. So Sam, so I mean, uh, after two, two classes I will be taking server. I mean, uh, it's up to you. If you are interested, you can join. Otherwise, that's fine. If you, are, you already installed server and you know you have seen those things, so it's up to you. 
and uh, what is that? What I is mean, now I'll be showing server, server, W server. Okay. Yeah, I am definitely interested. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. So, so that's up to you. I mean, Sudhi also it's up to you. Huh? I will also definitely join. When are you starting it? Uh, maybe after action filters. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm okay. interested. Yes, 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 definitely. Yeah, but the only problem is uh, server is uh, just for 14 days uh, and uh, it's strictly 14 days. There are There is no alternative. Desktop, there is alternative because uh, we can use student versions, all those things. But server, there is no alternative. So I don't know. I, I'm trying to install it. But if everything goes fine, I will show you in my desk, in my laptop only. But unfortunately, okay. if it doesn't go fine, one of you has to install. <laughs> okay. Okay. If you install, I'll show you in your systems only. Because server, there is no alternative. Again and again, uh, virtual machine is also not working. It's taking my mission ID and it's not allowing me to install. Okay. Okay. So that's how it is. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. We can do that. Yeah. That, that would be very interesting one. I, I don't want to miss that. Yeah. I need to learn that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And other important thing is you can note this link which I which is on my desktop now. Right? So note that link. That's a tablet.com only, but slash ESDALD. So whenever you install earlier versions, okay, you can go to this site. ESDALD. Okay. Okay. So ESDALD is a tablet's previous versions. So Generally, trial versions on home page is only nine version or latest version, but this one is all versions they have from version four. So, what okay. do you what do you want us to do is install server in our site already, or you want to try that first and then you let let us know tomorrow whether or not. Tomorrow I'll let you know. Yeah, tomorrow okay. I'll let you know. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. Because I'm trying already. It's going on from yesterday night. It's been almost two hours and still it's just point two. Okay. Yeah. So sure, I'm sure. Already yeah. trying, but yeah. Okay. Okay. Anything else, guys? No, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Yes, Sudhi, you were saying something? I'm just saying, is it just a slow process or it's something that? My laptop yeah. is 12 GB RAM, but still I don't know why it's taking time. It's not slow process. So server uh, sometimes even if it is installing, even after installation also server will not work properly. So that's problem with the uh, W servers so it's not problem with uh, any machines or anything so it's uh, anyway it's anyway slow and the other thing is even after installation sometimes it will work and sometimes it will not work so it all depends you should be lucky <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah thank you okay okay thanks today thanks sam yeah, thank you bye guys